What's up everybody? Happy New Year, 2017's here. Today's January 10th. We're gonna take a look at the 2017 Chevy Camaro SS, good looking car. And uh, just briefly kind of go around it real quick. I don't have a whole lot of time I can spend right this second because I got somewhere to be in about 30 minutes. But um, before I left the Chevy store, I really just wanted to quickly go around this Camaro and just let some of y'all see it and, uh, and, and look at it. I mean, this thing is nice. Take a look at the front end on this thing. Wow. You know, Camaro definitely has evolved over the years, just like any other sports car, but seems to get better and better each year, doesn't it? That red really stands out, don't it? I love how the headlights are just kind of kind of thin like that. I mean, not a big port or not a big opening there for your headlight. It's just kind of squinched down, but makes it look really aggressive. I mean, how much headlight do you really need? You know, to be able to get the light on the ground while you're riding down the road, you know? So that's true. You don't have to have a huge, massive headlight on a car. Um, what are those called? Can you tell me? <laughs> that's been the topic of discussion on some of my videos. People saying, why did you call those, uh, you know, air induction, you know, whatever they're called, hood scoops, you know? Anyways, let me know what those are. I call them induction ports, you know? <laughs> they might probably let some of the, uh, some of the heat out of under the hood there. Um, take a look at these wheels. My goodness, they're massive. Is it me or do the wheels just keep getting bigger and bigger? They sure do. And uh, those are definitely 20 inch. Could be bigger, I'm not sure. Goodyear tires though. They're the Eagles F1s. It's a nice sporty tire, probably a sticky tire. And a soft tire. Huge brakes. Massive four piston calibers. Massive five stars, always look nice. The red definitely stands out. So it's a one SS coupe. Red hot is the color name. 6.2 liter V8 under the hood. Eight speed automatic transmission. Let's see the price. 39,435. Wow, not bad really on price. I figured it'd be over 40 grand. Look at the uh, dual exhaust, looks nice, back end looks good, you know, the taillights are also kind of squinched like the front headlights. Again, do you need a huge rear taillight? No, you don't. As long as people can see the blinkers and the brake lights, I think you're good to go. Spoiler looks good. Do you need a massive size spoiler on the back of your sports car like you see on some of these ricers, you know, or some of these import cars? Do you need a massive bookshelf spoiler sitting up that high? I don't know, maybe if you're doing some extreme racing and you're going fast, that air probably needs that bigger spoiler, but um, that's probably good enough just for cruising around throughout the city. Uh, before we go, let's look at the back tires. Not bad, I try to get my camera in spaces that some people don't get in the videos, give you a little different view of things. And that's a 275, 35 in the back, ZR20. Brakes are a little bit smaller in the rear, which is fine. Chevy's got it down to a science, folks. They know exactly what they're doing. I do have the key right here. Uh, this is the key for 2017. Lock, unlock, remote start. Not bad. Before we go, I'm gonna unlock it. I'm gonna pop the, pop the trunk. It doesn't, doesn't automatically pop up all the way. But um, as you can see, the opening is not very large on the back of the Camaro, so it's pretty pretty tight, really. And I mean, not a ton of trunk space, but enough to get the groceries in, that's for sure. Looks like the back seat might fold down, so you might be able to get some golf clubs back there. Let's look at the interior. Now this one, uh, I'm actually surprised right now, it doesn't have leather, cloth seats. But you know, one thing I can tell you, these seats look good. They're probably just as comfortable as the leather seat. Not everybody wants the leather seats, so Chevy knows that. Let's look at the steering wheel for a minute. I'm gonna hop in. <clears throat> oh man, the seat does feel pretty comfortable, I like it. And uh, I really like this steering wheel. Take, take a look at that, it looks how it flattens out at the bottom like a race car. You got paddle shifters here. Ooh, I like this a lot. Man, this is nice. Um, you don't got a big windshield though. Let me look at that thing. I mean, my head, I'll show you all this real quick if I can see myself on camera. 
a little tough to see, but my, can you see? My hat's right here. The roof is literally right at the top of my hat. Okay? I'm, I'm hitting my head on the roof right now. Okay, now I'm sure the seat could go down more, but um, man, it's a it's a it's a uh, it's a tight squeeze sitting in here. I mean, it is comfortable. You feel like you're sitting inside of some kind of F1 fighter jet. I mean, look at this thing. My goodness, I like that. I mean, look at that. This dash here. This is sweet. I mean, look at that thing. That looks good. I like that. That looks nice. I like all the little sounds it makes, how it feels, automatic transmission, that feels good. The Chevy does a good job on the fit and finish, that's definitely for sure. I like that a lot. You know, I, d I don't like that, it, that the windshield is small. I mean, if you had a problem with being claustrophobic, I mean, that would cause a huge issue with you. I mean, even look at that window there. Look how small that window is. I mean, again, it's squinched down. You know, that's what they've done. I've seen back in the day when I used to go to Nopi car shows in Atlanta at the Atlanta Motor Speedway, I seen a Honda Civic one time that they literally cut the top on it and dropped it down. That's kind of what this reminds me of because look at that back window. It's just tiny, tiny. But anyways, that, that gives this car that look, don't it? I mean, look at that one over there. That's a 2017 Camaro over there looking good. That's an RS model, so that's V6. But uh, this is V8 right here, 6.2 liter. It will get up and go. I'm going to put the foot on the brake. You got the start and stop right there. Hear it crank up. That sounds good. I love the uh, interface, how the apps and everything are right there. That's pretty sweet. Um, you got your climate control down here that looks nice. You know, one thing that Chevy seems to have done over the last year or so is um, they haven't cluttered the car up with too many buttons. Demonstration mode. Connected by OnStar's high-speed 4G Ooh. connection. Press the blue OnStar button to learn more. Okay, man, I like her voice. Uh, it's definitely not Siri's voice. I mean, they must have found a very attractive woman to do that voice. I like it a lot. That, you know, that sounds good. Like, kind of like Knight Rider, but it was a guy back then on that TV show. Look at this. That's sweet. So I'm going to rev it up just a little bit for you. Don't want to rev too loud. we got customers in the showroom right, literally right through those windows over there. But... It sounds very powerful, that's for sure. And again, can I hear her voice again? I mean, how do I get her to talk? Maybe uh, <laughs> maybe we can rewind it, but hold on, let's see if we can hit a button here and get her talking, hold on. That's volume for your stereo system. Is there a voice command button? Here we go. Say a command or say help. Uh, where'd the other lady's voice go? There is no Bluetooth phone connected. Pair a Bluetooth phone and connect for your call. To place a call using oh, boy. our personal calling. Speech session ended. Goodbye. Right, that just really messed up my fun little dream. But um anyways, we gotta we gotta get out of this car. I got somewhere to be, but Ooh, if y'all want to see more videos of these Camaros, let me know. I definitely will come out here and film them and spend some whole I'll spend a whole day up filming them, take them out on the streets. But um Man, what a bummer with the voice, though. It switched from a, a, a pretty female voice, from OnStar, I'm assuming, to a kind of manly female voice when I hit the Bluetooth button. It was a little bit weird. Anyways, <laughs> what do y'all think of that? Anyways, good looking car though, the Camaro, beautiful, the exterior looks great. They got a good selection of them out here in Ravenel. I mean, we got bunches of them just to show you real quickly got a blue one over here this is a nice looking color that's an rs but i mean look at that color on that one Woo, that's pretty especially with those nice looking racing stripes what a beautiful color blue and then that black oh there's knight rider you know if y'all remember the show Knight Rider, I don't think it was a Camaro though. I think it might have been a Pontiac Firebird or something on that show. But anyways, look at that. Yeah, pretty cool looking wheel. Got a huge red kind of outline going around it. And that's your Camaros, folks. Not bad, man. I'm blessed to have a Chevy store I get to do stuff with. 
some of the other brands I work with, they just don't have stuff like this. Anyways, hold it down. Today's my birthday, and uh, that's why I'm getting ready to head out. Got some stuff to do with the family, have dinner tonight. 36 years old. Started this YouTube channel in 2011. Started filming cars in 2008. And uh, it all started as a car salesman trying to sell cars. So uh, had to film them to help sell them. So that's what we do on this channel. Have a great day. We'll see you soon.